guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the two-tone zebra print scarf. Oh my gosh, I love wearing this. It is not only comfortable, but it has that elegant look to it that just makes me feel special when I wear it. And it's super easy to make, guys. This scarf is nothing but half double crochets. That's it. But what makes the pattern look different is the fact that I've used two different types of yarn to make it. I can't wait to show you how it's done. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects. And you're not going to want to miss out. All right, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this beautiful scarf. The materials that you're going to need to make the two-tone zebra print scarf are two different types of yarn. You're going to want a size 5 bulky weight yarn that can either be textured or non-textured. I'm going to leave that completely up to you. Uh, the, in the example that I am making today, I am using a homespun yarn. Not the thick and quick homespun yarn, just the original homespun yarn. Uh, the second yarn that you're going to want to use is a size 4 weight worsted weight or Aran yarn uh, that is not textured. That's the super important part is the size 4 weighted yarn needs to be non-textured. Uh, in the example that I am using today, I am using a Karen Simply Soft yarn. If you want to know the exact colors that I am using in this scarf, I will put those in the note section below this video for you to refer to. Uh, you will also need a crochet hook size P or 11 and a half millimeter, uh, a pair of scissors, and optional is the fabric glue. So the fabric glue will just help you to secure those ends when you weave in your ends, and the fabric glue actually works great with that bulky yarn. Um, but of course, this is just an option, not a necessity. So I'm gonna let you weave in your ends however you wanna weave in your ends. And let's go ahead and just dive right into how to make this gorgeous scarf. All right, so to begin this scarf, we are actually going to be using two different materials. A highly textured material, which is the, the original homespun, and then a non-textured size 4 weighted yarn, which I am using a Simply Soft yarn, but you can use any size 4 weighted worsted Aran yarn to pair up with the textured yarn. You bundle them up together and treat them as if you were working one strand of yarn. It actually helps having this non-textured yarn worked with the textured yarn, so that way you can see your stitches. One complaint that I receive a lot from people asking my help with textured yarn is, I can't see my stitches, I can't see where my chain is to insert my crochet hook. So having a non-textured yarn paired with your textured yarn helps tremendously in finding where your stitches go, okay? So we are going to put them together, treat them like they are one, go ahead and create your slip knot, take your crochet hook. All right, we are going to start by chaining 17 chains. One, two, three, 16, 17. Fabulous. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this chain that we just made. You can already tell that that non-textured yarn is making a significant difference in being able to have visibility for each stitch that we made. When we get ready to go into row one, row one is going to be a row of half double crochets. We're going to place our first half double crochet in our third chain, okay? So when we're looking at our chains, if you're like, well, I can't find my chains, place it down on your table or on your surface. Look at the bottom, find the non-textured yarn, okay? So right here, there's a chain. Right there, there's a chain. There, there's a chain. And even if one is covered up a little bit, if you move the textured yarn, you're going to see the non-textured yarn and be like, oh, there's a chain. So if you are having trouble finding your stitches, finding your chains, refer to where the non-textured yarn is and it will guide you, okay? So like I said, we're going to put our very first stitch, our very first half double crochet in the third chain from our hook. So we got one, two, three. Okay, so yarning over, making sure that one of the non-textured and one of the textured yarns 
are below the hook, okay, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all of the loops on your hook. Beautiful, okay, now finding our next stitch. Oh, there is my next stitch right there. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook, pull through, yarn over, pull through all of the loops on your hook. All right, continue to do this all the way down to the very last chain, and I will meet you there to show you what to do next. All right, last half double crochet in that last chain. Perfect. Okay, we just finished row one. We're going to chain two, one, two, turn our work, and then continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way down. Now we are looking for these V-shape looks. Right there, see that hole on the top right there? That is our first stitch. Right here, that's our next stitch. Right there, that's our next stitch. If you are still having trouble finding your stitches, another trick that you can use is just pull your work a little bit and look for the half double crochets. Okay, so uh, there's a half double crochet, perfect. Okay, there's the top of it. That's where my stitch is. Looking for the next one. Oh, there's a half double crochet. Find the top of it. That's where my stitch is. Okay, so go ahead and use those tricks. Continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across this row. And I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what to do next. Perfect, last stitch. We know it's the last stitch because we have made 15 half double crochets. Each row is going to have 15 half double crochets in each row. So if you ever want to check yourself, check your row to make sure you're staying on count, just go ahead and count that you have 15 half double crochets in that row and you are good, okay? We have reached the last stitch. We will chain two, one, two, turn our work. All right, and we will continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. And that is all you do, guys. You just continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across your row. Your row should contain 15 stitches. You will continue until you reach the end of row 78. Or if you want, guys, you can go even longer than that and make an even longer scarf than what I've made. The scarf that I've made is 15 stitches across and 78 rows long. That's it. Go ahead and continue going until you have reached your desired length or the end of row 78. All right, guys, that is how you make my two textured zebra print scarf. I really hope you had fun crocheting with me today. If you did, you might also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. I wanna get you.